I want to talk today about the four types of market research to use to grow your business. Why do I say that market research grows your business? Well, because it does. Market research is exactly that. It's research to know exactly what your client, your ideal client, your prospects, what they're looking for, what they love, what they don't like, what they want to see more of from you. and. It really helps you to hone in on exactly what you should be offering, what message you should be delivering, what training they're looking to have you do, what are they going to engage with, essentially, right? Because you want your clients and your prospects to engage with you. You want them to feel like they know you, like you, trust you. We've heard that before. So market research really allows you to understand exactly what your ideal client is looking for. And there's four different types of market research depending on the situation that you're in. Um, but market research also really helps you avoid that time and expense of creating something that you think is gonna be the next greatest thing just to hear crickets. Nobody buys, nobody's purchasing, nobody's engaging. Well, just because you thought it was a great idea doesn't necessarily mean that's what your ideal client is looking for. And when you hear those crickets, and when you don't get those sales, it can be defeating. It can really start to tear you down. So really, you don't need to go there. Just avoid it altogether. Avoid that and do the market research. So what are the four different types of market research to grow your business? One, the simple, most obvious, ask. Ask your clients point blank, what are you looking for? Would you rather see one? I will tell you the one thing that I find the most beneficial is when you get very specific, give them specific, don't just say, what are you struggling with? Well, a lot of times if they're struggling, they don't know what they're struggling with. So maybe instead of just giving that very broad question, you say, what are you struggling with? Option A or option B, run polls. Those are a great way people, it's very easy for people to answer a poll. Um, number two, observation. If you're in Facebook groups or even through your timeline or LinkedIn or different platforms that you're on, in-person networking, listen, look, see, do your research. If you're a business coach, go into some Facebook groups and search business coach and see what questions people are asking around that. Search and see what, pe what questions are they asking. Let them tell you exactly. Answer their questions. Um, number three, surveys, feedback. Once you've done something, ask for feedback, put out a survey, ask questions. And remember, feedback is only feedback. You're gonna get a varying response and you don't have to do every single thing that somebody gives you as feedback. Some feedback you'll be able to implement and you'll be is really, really helpful. Other feedback you can say, hey, thank you, I appreciate your opinion, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, the last one, beta testing. This one I really, really love because it allows you to run through the process, whether it's a new course, whether it's a new service offering, whether it's even just a worksheet or a new membership, you can run this program in beta and it, the length of time can vary, the cost can vary. If it's free, I don't know. Um, I would put a price on it because you want skin in the game. You still want people to be really committed to it, but it doesn't mean that it has to be at the most expensive price or at full price. You give them an option. So you really want to do this beta test because beta test is going to allow you to see this was a really great idea. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I've run a couple things through beta and after it went through the beta, I realized I don't want to do this. This is not going to work. This is not how I can best serve my audience. But had I not run something through beta, I would have had to learn that process and it could have potentially sold or not sold. So you really wanna take that into consideration. So now that you have four, reason, four different ways that you can do market research, you might be thinking, well, which one do I start with? The reality is you need to do all of them. All of them have a purpose at a different point in your business. So depending on where your business is, you may be at the point where you just ran a course and you're trying to decide what needs to change. And so you're looking for feedback. You may be looking to create a course. And so you need to ask your audience and you need to do the observation piece. 
Depending on where your business is at, at any given point, all four of those different types of market research are highly needed, but you need to utilize them in the best way possible. That doesn't mean that you have to run a beta for every worksheet or every single little course that you want to run or a training, but know when it is important and when it's not. And if you do a training and you're thinking about expanding on it, that's a great time to ask for feedback. So use these four types of market research in your business to really help grow it, speak exactly to your ideal client, connect with them on a deeper level, and serve them in the best way you possibly can.